school. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? Yeah, I have. Absolutely, I have. <laughs> yes, um, once before in high school. 23-year-old Jim Mulgrew spends his day in room 413 teaching algebra to ninth grade federal hawking high school students. He's in the early days of his teaching career and hasn't yet experienced a student crushing on him. He says he works to form healthy relationships with his students. I can look out for them, but at the same time, there's a professional distance that I think that I think you just understand as a teacher. The chair of education at Ohio University, Dr. Franz Doppen, says education students are taught to be friendly, but not friends with students, and that there's definitely a line that can be crossed. You are the instructor, the student is there to learn, and so that should define your relationship and your day-to-day -day interaction. Uh, it's nice if we like each other and that would be a fringe benefit, but it's not necessary for learning to take place. As a recent graduate from Ohio University Patton College of Education, Mulgrew says his students are aware of his young age and keeps their contact classroom related. Anything on social media is a no-go. Like, you can't be friends with Facebook with your students. They can't follow you on Twitter. You can't, they can't follow you on Instagram. Any kind of contact outside of school has to be at a school function. When interactions continue outside of the classroom, professional lines may be crossed. Just recently, Athens High School teacher Isaac Thomas was sentenced to five years in prison for sexual battery. Thomas was having sex with a high school student dating back to 2013. During testimony, the student claimed she was in love with Thomas. Director of the Athens Child Advocacy Center, Rebecca Robison Miller, explains in some situations the child doesn't realize they are a victim. It feels like they are not being forced into it. They, they are a willing participant of the relationship, but given the power dynamics um, and obviously the legal perspective, it is considered to be a sexual abuse situation. Robison Miller says power dynamics can occur through financial, professional, or personal reasons. When a teacher crosses that line of professionalism, they lose their teaching license and could face up to five years of suspension. Dr. Doppin says the consequences, however, can last a lifetime. As a principal, if I had somebody applying for a position like that, I would not be likely to, uh, to hire that person. Although Mulgrew hasn't had a student crush, he knows exactly how he would handle the situation. Probably go to the guidance counselor right away. I would not try to handle it through the student. That's just not the way to go. I would go right to like a higher figure of authority and ask for advice. Taylor Petrus, WOUB News.